Hello and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where today I had to run, last time we were here I had to run down here and save a campfire. So now do I do want to go back to plain song but this woman is yelling at me so I should talk to her after I do that. Yes, mm -mm, yes. Who stood against Regala and Is that rebels. bad? Only if it means <laughs> you. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could oh. share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, if you're ever in need of a quick refuge, there's an ancient tunnel north of here that machines tend to avoid. I scouted it many times trying to find a way further in, but the way is blocked. Oh, that tunnel. Whatever the tin mm -hmm. had in there, they kept it locked away. Thanks for letting me know. I think that's that tunnel that we ran into Ancient before. That'd be a good idea to take a look around if I'm in the area. That uh, we couldn't get through. I really want to see this tube. Fast, fast firing bolt. Oh, boat blaster. I. I have so many. Can be upgraded to use shock arrows. And deals more damage from critical hits. Oh. oh, tempting. Stamina regen. Do I even? Oh, stamina is for weapons. That's right. Oh, I'm not going to buy that right now. I have so many weapons. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with them all. Next time, perhaps you could make a You all will listen, but I wouldn't I wouldn't hold your breath. Let's see. I do Is this No, that's the base. Okay. There's there's a tunnel. Where where, where was it? It was down here. Yeah, this one. Oh, but she said the tunnel... Oh, maybe it goes, like, all the way through the mountain range. Like, up, up here, maybe. Okay. I am actually going to use this campfire to fast travel. Back to playing song. Cool. This place looks so cool. I'm very excited. Fast travel for free. Oh, is this the rumor person again? More rumor? For me? Okay, can I t can I talk to you? Her outfit's cool. I want that one. I hear there's a group of Tanakh oh. up near Stone's Echo. No one knows why they're there. One of our veterans wants to seek them out, learn what they're doing out here. Tanakh, the Nutaru territory. That doesn't sound good. Let's see. Do I have like a rumor? Relic ruins. Oh, that's the the relic ruins that she was talking about then. Okay. Mm, no. Jobs and salvage contracts. There's so many. Why is there? It's probably an achievement for every single one too. <sighs> Oh, that's just in side quests. Okay. We are planning to do the air one first. Because it said it was easier. Well, lower level. Okay, now. Now I'm going to go wander around in here. Because for one thing, it's gorgeous. And for another thing, there's a side quest in here. And I do want to finish up the bandit. The bandit camp that's in this section. 
There's like the forts and the camps or whatever. I, I don't know. This is really lovely. Oh! Oh, it's probably the guy that we rescued. Where is he? Who is talking to me? Is it people above me or below me? Because this is above me, whatever that exclamation point is. I can't, I can't see. Thank you, thank you. These people must be upstairs. Cause I can I don't see anything. You're not even an ex how how were you yelling at me? Aloy. Wasn't sure you'd ever come Wait. around. What do you think? You're not Dane. It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. The people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. It won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. <laughs> people falling in love with me right and left. Who's that D like the D D A E N guy? Who was like, hey, Talk to me. Well, nope, you're also not somebody who yelled at Please. me, Ellie. The chorus won't meet with me. I don't oh, know why are you talking to me? How about you just start by telling me what's what do you, wrong? What? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who'll even listen to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? I have a lot on my plate, but uh, sure. <laughs> Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight, as usual among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe Outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. An interesting tradition, and very fair. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like River Hymn as lost lands. No longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss. That's it. weird. <clears throat> Time to get new leaders. My thing is that I don't know how the Utaru have survived being Tanakh neighbors without a military force. Like they're like, we barely held them off. I'm like, with what? Planting sticks? Like, you guys seem to go to great lengths to be very peaceful harmony with the earth planting you know agricultural um and don't really have any fortifications it seems like um i don't know i just don't know how you would survive with angry neighbors without having some sort of like i mean they have a little bit but not not like a standing army or whatever kind of like the karcha you know the Tanakh don't have a standing army either but 
at least as far as I think, but they have raiding parties <laughs> and warriors. I don't really see any warrior Utarus. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Where is the person? <laughs> that was yelling at me. I still can't find them. I can't even find anything on Google about this person. May the wind carry you. Outlaw. Yeah, thanks. I I don't I <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, too bad, I guess. I have spent minutes looking for this guy and I can't find him. So we're just gonna move on <laughs> over here. This is a pleasant surprise. Me? I am a pleasant surprise. <coughs> we can't give up. If we just Enough. What why? Everybody's so just like willing to die here. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Oh, maybe these are the chorus fogies. This is not your concern. You're a fogey. Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. Or seven. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. You're such fogies. Like, look, what, like, false hope. Like, what the boy? So is apathy, you know? How was Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance. Unpleasant, though it might be. So you had to admit, Kalai. Or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. Okay, <laughs> they just straight up said it. <laughs> Risking legitimizing her ideas. The right of discovery. What is I'm gonna exactly? find this woman. It's a pilgrimage to the Promatoria. The place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsong. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey, but because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to, but as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point yeah. of view. She needed to prove that she respected mm -hmm. the old ways, even as she advocated I was gonna against say that. <laughs> then maybe more people would listen. It, yeah, like a, like a, even it championing a new way, like it's good to have the support of like, like, you know, respect for like tradition, but while championing, championing, championing <laughs> new ways. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten Sweet. Involved. I'm gonna find her. Plain song is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara oh, leave shoot. that song and seek Oh, out wow, that's big. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots even as fire approaches. But you're not true. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting that to be so funny. <laughs> I could just she she was pretty bland about it like 
I could just picture her like grabbing this woman's like shirt and being like, but you're not trees. <laughs> Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds. Every Utaro keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in plain song. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. So I'm hoping this woman's alive. Uh, maybe I can find her seed pouch, but it'd be ideal to find her and bring her back. <laughs> if I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with mm. you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fitness. Not so. Ancient artifacts are in the land. They have been reclaimed by the land. But yo, I will, I'm gonna find those things <laughs> in real life and in the game. So there. <laughs> Just because it's covered up doesn't mean you can't find it again. Oh, what is it? Your understanding won't keep us from starving. It's okay, I'll fix everything. It's fine. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about yeah. something important. Outlander. Please, that's a good Girl, response. Please. Later. It's a little weird for a reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for y'all. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As y'all said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, We've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every Did day. Did you guys only eat plants? That's not a... You need protein. I mean, it depends, but it looks like they're only having, like, one kind of crop that they've got out here. Hopefully they have multiple. If you have multiple, it's, it's okay, but maybe that's why they're all so skinny. It's because they don't have any protein. Or very little. I saw you up there when I spoke to I knew I recognized her. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. Without more food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month? Maybe two? The maddening part is that many are resigned mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. Like Fane, who would have us simply wait to die. You heard him. Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something. Yes, like send hunters to the old growth for food. Fane fought that idea too. He will undoubtedly cast what happened to the hunting party as another reason to side with him. If we let him. This is wild. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old, old growth. growth is interesting. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy totally. it? Totally. I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. I'm intrigued one about thing. old growth. Every Utaru wears a small pouch oh, of yeah, seeds. Yeah. Given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. 
It would mean a great deal to the Hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Look at her elbow! Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. Look at these children! See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. They're so tiny. Okay, where is... Oh, and this is a food thing? Yeah, I need to do food things. You? What? Who? What? You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. Oh! I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. I thought she was a food person. <laughs> oh, 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 look at these options I have. Let's see. <gasps> oh. oh, I love the autumn one. I can't do the other ones, that's fine. I think I'll do the autumn. Oh, I do like that one, though. I do like that. Oh, very nice, very nice. Sometimes it's been taking a while to load in some stuff lately. Oh, I actually think I like the original better. It's nice, they're both nice. Nora anointed. Mm, that doesn't change as much. I like the original. Let's see what the... Let's see the original. Ooh, I do like that. Frozen Wilds. a That is the Frozen Wilds color scheme. I do use that armor. Maybe I'll change that one up. Nora Champion. So they're all kind of the same for some of them. Or like the same Grey Dawn, Pale Fence, Even Tide, Frozen Wild. I have three skill points. Holy cow, I get those so fast. I don't even realize. Ooh, I actually like that a lot. Mm, I like that on the pink. They're beautiful. It's nothing compared to the Tanakh Oh. Dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their dyers, plants, or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. Alright, who wanted to talk to me in here? Oh. What? There's so many children. Why are there so many? There's a survivor from a hunting party. You're a stitcher. Oh boy. I think I've seen these actually upstairs. Yeah. But, oh, I want that one. I actually really want the Osram one too. Gah! Low health defense. Coils. I don't want to buy any coils from you. I don't know if I have any that I want to sell either. What is this purple one? Uh, cannot be equipped. Oh, so it's just for like my short bows, my little crossbows. That's so weird. <laughs> Damage increased. In mind when you need armor or Dam damage increased when blah blah blah. Da sliding. You're young. Then. Oh my gosh. I'm here about the machine. What is he? In the what is he? Twelve. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll. I'll tell you what I he can. He is twelve. Tell me what happened, step by step. 
there were five of us hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees. All claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan. Came right at me. Slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it. Yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees. And it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to plain song before I realized what I had done. Left loud to we'll die. go find him. Maybe he's actually alive. Although this game is not afraid to pull its punches, and I will probably find people who are dead. Uh, I'm really hoping that woman's alive, though. The chorus candidate. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider. But it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and yeah, mm -hmm. had a Damon. purple color. Ms. Damon. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. They had that here. I need to get recently. Going. You don't want to fight that thing. I do. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Look how cool my what armor if you is. Do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao. My oldest. He's friend. alive, definitely. Okay, how do I get it in it? Okay, that's the dire stitcher. Ooh, my stash is over here. This place is really gorgeous. Like, I've edited out a lot, I know. Most likely. Oh, food, there we go. But, geez louise. If I was more of a, was it, what do they call them? Screen archers? Screenshot taker? Oh, hey, it's good to see you, too. I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna go make some food. <gasps> there you freaking are! This is the guy who's been yelling at me the whole time from downstairs! <laughs> what the heck? Aloy, oh! Thank you again for saving my life he was... Th oh, I remember. I, I remember. Much, I promise my rations will help keep your strength up in the wild. We helped him with the flying bird machines. Local stew. <gasps> Yes. By oh, by one. Wait, what? Oh, I can only have so much food, huh? Resonator buildup. I still no no no. I did actually. Mm hmm. No, I haven't. I've only done that once, and it was on accident. No, that actually wasn't on accident. But I have been able to do like the. Okay, I've been able to do like the supercharged move, I think, where you hold down R2, like the supercharged melee. I'm pretty, yeah, yeah, because I, I remember, like, you hold it down and, like, you charge it up and then you smack them. And it's a harder hit. Or R2, I think if you just tap R2, it's like a heavy hit. And then if you tap R1, I think that's like a light hit, right? But if we charge it up. Tap R2 to energize the tar- I don't know. Maybe I'm- Maybe I'm making all this up. But then I have to switch to a Because the problem is, is I haven't really had, as far as I know- Like, I've seen the energize thing, like, it hits him right in the center of the chest, and then I have to hit that with an arrow. I need to do that more. These are both- Oh, that's the build up and that's the blast, okay. Provide more healing and all potions are faster to consume. That would be nice to get. Stealthy, do more hotel damage! Yeah! Alright, let's see if I can uh, upgrade my food. I hope you my know there'll always be a warm meal waiting for You're you. You're so here. nice! Thank you. Yeah, for real. No, really. They're really nice. Oh, he's really nice. 
I'm like, they're really nice. I think in general they are, but truly, hunger makes people, um, you know, not themselves. Where is my... Stitcher Dyer. I need a painter. Oh, but the painters are in Tanakh territory. I need... I don't think I need the workbench. Do I need my stash? I don't even know. The stash thing is it's kind of weird to me, honestly. Maybe at this point somebody's explained it to me in the comments, or I've looked it up, but... Blurg. I think I need to go to the workbench. Food pouch. I will upgrade that. A that's right, and a prairie dog! We already knew about the precarity, but a prairie dog hide. There's so many animals. Wow, there's so many. I need to kill more birds, more more of my children. More squirrels. Um, more bunnies. I just need to kill everything. I keep just killing, like, foxes. Because they're easy to see. It makes me cry, though, for my Ghost of Tsushima playthrough where you get to pet the foxes. <laughs> and they lead you to cool things. Like, is this... It's not a pouch. It's just an upgrade. Yeah. I don't wanna, or not an upgrade, rather. Increases... Did I, I already did that one? Oh, okay, I cannot do that. I do have an empty slot, though, on the... Wait. Oh, okay, I see. Mm. <laughs> what does the hunter bow do again? Delivers acid payloads. They don't even have what they do. Oh, there it is, the ammo types, okay. Oh, so that's just my all-around bow, okay. Let's upgrade it. I will use that one a lot, mostly as like a finishing weapon, I think. <gasps> I could fully upgrade it. Sh See, now I'm all, I shouldn't, cause I need to, mm. Oh, what the heck. I'm all like, I'm not gonna fully upgrade any of my green weapons, and here I go. Here I go doing that. Hunter, let's trade. I now have... Increases chance to land critical hit. We'll do that one. At least I don't have to pay for the perk to unequip modifications anymore oh here we go down here saving up for that one then place more traps and tripwire I better be max four that's it how why did they nerf the traps and everything this time around? Like, if I want to sit in the shadows, in the weeds, and let everything get blown up from a distance, why can't I do that? I don't understand. I heard also there's a patch coming through, or is has already come through, at least at time of recording recently, <laughs> um that they're nerfing the legendary weapons and i'm like why why can't we be like op once you get a legendary weapon like you know it's the big deal you you have a question or an exclamation point rather <sighs> did she have more stuff i think she has more stuff oh boy anyway i'm gonna go ahead and call this one here I do apologize if I've been a bit quiet. It's once again, I have a neighbor, even though it's the weekend, so I'm trying to not be annoying. But, I'm sorry, it's probably not as fun to watch, is it? Oh, <laughs> me being calm is not as fun. But, anyway, I'm doing my best. <laughs> 
So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so, so much for your support. And an extra special thank you to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest, honestly. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you all again, and I'll see you in the next one.